Green plants are producers and carry out the process of photosynthesis in which green plants absorb solar energy to make food from carbon dioxide and water. Factors needed for photosynthesis are carbon dioxide, chlorophyll, water and sunlight. The following experiments can show the factors needed for photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide is needed for photosynthesis. This experiment shows that carbon dioxide is needed for photosynthesis. Prepare the apparatus as shown here. Cover potted plant A and potted plant B with a box for two days to remove the starch in the leaves. Then, cover the two potted plants with glass jars for two hours. Pluck a leaf from the two potted plants and test for the presence of starch. Prepare the apparatus as shown here. Immerse both leaves in boiling water for 5 minutes to break down the cell walls of the leaves. Then, transfer the leaves into test tubes containing ethanol and place them in the hot water to get rid of the chlorophyll in the leaves. Once the leaves are decolorized, remove both leaves and put them into warm water to soften the leaves and remove the alcohol content. Remove the leaves and spread them onto a white tile. The leaf from potted plant A turns brown when a few drops of iodine solution are added. This is because the supplied air does not have carbon dioxide and starch cannot be produced. The leaf from potted plant B turns blue-black when a few drops of iodine solution are added. This is because the supplied air has carbon dioxide and starch can be produced. This shows that the photosynthesis process requires carbon dioxide. Chlorophyll is needed for photosynthesis. This experiment shows that chlorophyll is needed for photosynthesis. Pluck a variegated leaf that is exposed to sunlight. Trace the outline of the leaf to show the green and non-green areas. Then, the leaf is tested for the presence of starch. Prepare the apparatus as shown here. Immerse the leaf in boiling water for 5 minutes to break down the cell walls of the leaf. Then, transfer the leaf into a test tube containing ethanol and place it in the hot water to get rid of the chlorophyll in the leaf.
Once the leaf is decolorized, remove the leaf and put it into warm water to soften the leaf and remove the alcohol content. Remove the leaf and spread it onto a white tile. Only the green parts of the leaf turn blue-black when a few drops of iodine solution are added. This shows that only the green parts of the leaf carry out photosynthesis to produce starch. So, chlorophyll is needed for photosynthesis. Sunlight is needed for photosynthesis. This experiment shows that sunlight is needed for photosynthesis. A potted plant is covered with a box for two days to remove the starch in the leaves. Part of a leaf is covered with black paper to avoid exposure to sunlight. The green plant is then exposed to sunlight for two hours. Then, the leaf is tested for the presence of starch. Prepare the apparatus as shown here. Immerse the leaf in boiling water for 5 minutes to break down the cell walls of the leaf. Then, transfer the leaf into a test tube containing ethanol and place it in the hot water to get rid of the chlorophyll in the leaf. Once the leaf is decolorized, remove the leaf and put it into warm water to soften the leaf and remove the alcohol content. Remove the leaf and spread it onto a white tile. Only the exposed portion of the leaf turns blue-black when a few drops of iodine solution are added. This shows that only the exposed portion of the green leaf carries out photosynthesis to produce starch and it takes place when there is sunlight. Photosynthesis will not take place if any of these factors which are carbon dioxide, water, sunlight and chlorophyll is absent. Which process decreases the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere? A. Respiration B. Combustion C. Decomposition D. Photosynthesis The answer is D, photosynthesis. This is because the photosynthesis process requires carbon dioxide in the atmosphere to make food and releases oxygen.